water with me. Okay, cool, you can sell that sea. It's the newest stadium on the NFL landscape, and it might just be the grandest as you get a look at SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Los Angeles Chargers. Tucker set to kick off. Northern California visits Southern California. The Niners and Chargers. Off we go from LA. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing three yards here, and that'll make this a second and 13. Out of the gun, Herbert toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. And that would off the mark behind him, incomplete. Brings up third down and 13. And this opening drive not going to plan. This is now third and 13. A shotgun snap for Herbert. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they're going to get him down well short of the first as he can only get this to the 30. It's a gain of nine, but it's also going to mean a punt here on their opening drive. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. And the fair catch is made at about the 27-yard line. And they call it 38 yards on the punt, no return. And the Niners will go on offense first and 10. down Darnold he dumps this off underneath to McFarland and he's able to get out to the 32 brought down there to Anthony McFarland now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down whatever you want to call it gain of five you're just trying to get four on first down they're ahead of the chains now on the run here's Anthony McFarland and they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run. And let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down. Otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. Darnold on first down. First catch of the game for George Kittle. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. That one goes for 24 yards. A first down throw, Darnold. Oh, he got position on him and he pulls it in. Another first down as they call his number again. He's got 15 yards here. Brandon, lest my eyes deceive me, I think they found a matchup that they're trying to exploit here, don't you? I mean, it's the second time they've gone to him here on this drive. Yeah, opening drive. It's a tone. And it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle. George Kittle with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Niners have taken the early lead. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first. An ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. At their own 25-yard line.
The Charger drive about to get going. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not going to be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked by Tarverius Moore. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. What a start defensively. Your offense goes out, gets the touchdown, and then you get the interception. Just perfect. How about the discipline that they showed on defense? Because after the offense scored to go up 7-zip, you would think they might be a little extra aggressive trying to get back at them. Instead, they read their keys well. And they took the shot downfield. They were more than prepared for that one. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Decided to hand it off that time on the run pass option. Appeared to be an easy decision. Just gave it inside. Nice steady gain. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. And now the Chargers are going to look up here and signal for a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. On second down to Carlin. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 24. They get five out of that one, and it moves the chains. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. First down, San Francisco. On first down, it's Darnold. That's complete. It's Anthony McFarland. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion. So here's second and four. Now Darnold. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming, let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. down inside the five to the four it's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call and across the chalk into the end zone it's a 49er touchdown a great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And it's good to make it 14-0. Makes the score. Niners 14. Chargers nothing. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Charger drive about to get going. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? yard line. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. No 
Throwing again. Herbert. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. And three. A second down completion got him seven. Now here's third and three. Justin Herbert looking to pass. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. And they'll get to this and touch it, looks like, yeah, right at the 15-yard line here. At their own 15-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've got things going their way early. 14-0 lead and the football. First and 10. Here's Darnold. Over the middle complete. That's Andrews. And he takes it all the way down to the 44-yard line. A, a big play there for the Niners. 41 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Off of play action, Darnold. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Well, they certainly gave it an attempt. They had a diminutive receiver like this running through the land of Giants in the middle of the field, but they couldn't find enough room to get him the football. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And he's taken down inside the 30. 16 yards, a first down. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brings up second and nine. 14-0 to score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. 14, Chargers nothing. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. On second down, here's the option. Throwing quickly, Darnold, that's complete. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. They wind up losing a couple there, so they go behind the original line of scrimmage, and now third and 11 coming up. Throwing here on third down, Darnold. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free, and it brings up fourth down. Well, they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. Now 17-0. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. And things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. At their own 25-yard line. Focus 
Listen on me, we're from Tel Aviv. Barbados with the hustle, pack is L I D. The Charger drive about to get going. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so. And they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots. But what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. At the 30 yard line. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. And he'll give it here to his running back. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Some of these play calls. I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise, this defense is going to gang up on the run and shut them down. Back to throw here, Herbert. And it's knocked away and incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions, and now it's looking like none on this one either. That's taken on the 25. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And possession will switch hands first and 10. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way. And I think he's going to go. Oh, they're not going to get him. And he's taken down all the way inside the L.A. 10. A big play there for the Niners. 56 yards. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And to give this time to the tailback. And the 49ers are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets them down to about the four-yard line. It'll be a pickup of four, and it brings up second and goal. Second down and goal. Darno. This is caught. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call, they already had it lined up, never even got to it. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and take it. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. 
this one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. T. Higgins was the intended target. And now it's second down. shotgun now here's an inside give and he's gonna get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. that's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run and a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play you're gonna smother it but a lot of the blitzers they come in a little bit high they don't have great leverage and they're easily blocked and turned to the side and he is going to have the Chargers first down. At least it would appear that way. He didn't get it by much, but yes, they do get the conversion on third and one. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. It's a gain of six on the play, and it'll be a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. From the 50, here's Herbert. He sets to fire D. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 12. to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. They're coming out with a jumbo package to start the drive. Here's McFarland. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's I miles am. away and smiling. And happy. A good job defensively to hold that to four yards, and now it's third down. Third down. And they'll try and run the option to pick it up. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. They'll get a dozen there, and it's a first down, 49ers. Well, I tell you, there is no antidote for speed, even at the quarterback position, as he keeps it himself and turns it into good yardage. And it still takes time for a defender to react, even as quarterbacks carry the ball more and more in today's NFL. They're still a little bit in disbelief and realize, oh my goodness, he's running with the ball. He may be 8, 10, 12 yards downfield at that point. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Second down six. At the six. The shotgun snap for Darnold. Buying time to his left. And that'll be incomplete with 11 seconds remaining now. To the sideline and incomplete. It's third. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Now a timeout called for by the defense as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. Time 
An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Darnold. Darnold, he lost the football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. And yeah, we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. So with two ticks left here in the half, on is the field goal unit. It'll be from the right hash, and it'll be a 36-yarder. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. We have hit halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. It's the 49ers out in front, and they will get the football first as well as we are back and started in the second half. This taken in about four yards deep, and no fireworks to start the half. This will be a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They built a good first half lead. Now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working with them on, here's what we think they're going to do to attack us in the second half. Nice first half that we've had, guys, but be prepared for some change-ups. We're going to see them when we kick it off in the second half. See how they handle any adjustments that might be made defensively. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a quick throw out left. That's caught. And he'll go out of bounds. It appears right at the 45. To number 88. Out of bounds at the 45-yard line. A gain of nine brings up second and one. On second down, Rainey, and he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there, pick up the first down. Play action. It's Darnold taking a shot for Samuel. This is caught. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. A big play there for the Niners. 49 yards. It looks like a jumbo set with three tight ends here for first and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. A great play there. Justin With two Carter touchdowns on the season, the both point. in this game. And the 49ers continue to roll. The and the lead grows good. even larger here in the third quarter. Niners 34, Chargers nothing. Justin Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fields it in the middle of the end zone. And he'll decide to not bring this one out as their drive will begin at the 25. Charger drive about to get going. They have been struggling. I would imagine at halftime they went through some possible changes. Well, those changes aren't working, so now where do you go? I think that now it's much more in their head. And what I mean by that is just what you said. You've gone over the changes. I bet they were pretty clinical at the half, not too emotional. They might need to go to the emotional <laughs> side because you've got to find something, some spark somewhere. And so far, just being calm hasn't exactly worked. They need any spark at this point. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. 
No he continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. On third down, Horn. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. A nice job defensively. And it likely forces a punt situation on four. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me trying to get to the airport. That's the road true. to be fairly that's clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and five. McFarland once more. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down now, McFarland and a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And they'll run the option on third and short yardage. Here's a quick throw out left. It's complete. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. Now we've got whistles and a timeout here. Yeah, it looks like we've got a 49er that's down on the field. More from L.A. in a moment. So first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. And only able to get two here. Stopped at the 30. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Faking the give, Darnold winds up and lets it go for Samuel. And he hauls it in, in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Debo Samuel, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the 49ers, they're just pouring it on. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Chargers take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a... Aside from the trainer right now, <laughs> from all the work he's getting.